Beagle Gang. Daisy says hi. Thank you, Baby Girl. Yes, you do. I just wanted to just add to yesterday's post about um, not being able to work. Well, not work. That's probably not the right word. But not able to get all of the unwanted behaviours we want out of our Beagles. And I just wanted to clarify that I'm not talking about things like teaching our beagles how to sit, how to lie down, how to have manners, how to do recall, how to loose lead walk, all of those things, you know, with persistence, consistency and training, you can absolutely train your beagle. What I'm talking about is behaviours such as resource guarding, separation anxiety, fear reactivity, uh, anxiety, um, what else? Well, anything that's genetic, instinctive or emotional to our beagles. So, for example, each one of our beagles will choose predominantly whether to freeze, flee or fight when they are in a situation that causes them anxiety or stress or fear. Um, those reactions are instinctive. They are very much uh, part of who our beagles are. You know, Daisy chooses a flea response and Billy chooses a fight response. And these are things that with training we can minimise, definitely. We can try to teach them that it, you know, we can try to teach them that you don't have to react like this in this particular um, situation and actually you know it's not actually this situation isn't that fearful so we can absolutely help them with that um, but we can't change our beagles genetics you know Billy is genetically predisposed to resource guard um, <laughs> separation anxiety fear reactivity uh, what else has the boy got he's got quite a lot going on really um, but when he came to me, his intensity was really high. Whereas now his intensity is really low, but not completely gone. In extreme circumstances, when Billy is fearful, his instincts kick in. Um, just very much like humans. Uh, you know, I have my, my go-to response is to flee. I know this about myself. I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. Um, and I love uh, I, and I love people normally, but if I was in a fearful situation or I was having an argument with somebody or wasn't comfortable, my response is to flee. Can I change that response? Possibly, you know, I did. I had to when I was a police officer. I had to, I did have to use the fight response sometimes and it made me feel really, really uncomfortable, really uncomfortable um, to the point where it affected my mental health. Hence why I'm not a police officer anymore. And that is because I tried to do something that I am not genetically predisposed to. Um, and he, she's so gorgeous, isn't she? She doesn't get much air time, does she? Because Billy is the problem child. <laughs> Whereas this one, other than a bit of poo eating, she's pretty damn good. And like I said in my post, you know, Daisy came to us and she did have some really difficult behaviours but when I think back to how I was able to get those out of her you know the jumping on the table the pogo stick pulling on the lead the rubbish recall they weren't all genetic or instinctive they were just she tested her behaviour and it had gotten what she wanted in her previous home whereas Daisy isn't a resource guarder she resource guards against other dogs she doesn't resource guard against humans because it's not genetically programmed into her. It's not in her. She's not got separation anxiety. You know, it's not It's not even part of her genetics. Um, and she's not really a fearful beagle. She's really super confident. Whereas when you see my two together, you can really see that Billy is an anxious beagle. So I just wanted to reiterate, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> that... Um, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourselves. Yes, we can definitely minimise some of their reactions. Absolutely. We can manage a lot of their reactions. But trying to 
my daughter's clapping for some reason. I think she's on a lesson. Um, trying to get rid of them completely. Just going to make you miserable. It's going to really make you miserable. I would really encourage you to accept your beagle. doesn't mean you have to accept everything. Because, you know, there are behaviours that both of my beagles have had that I don't want. And I have been able to eradicate some of them. But I don't want Billy to have separation anxiety. I don't want him to have resource garden. I don't want him to have fear reactivity. But in 18 months, he has progressed. He is a lot, lot better. But it's not all gone. So that's my Monday thoughts. Oh, I'd love to be a beagle, eh? Just look how cute she is. So content. Snowing outside. So we might go for a little walk in a minute. Have a great day, guys. See you later.